And uh, that's Ambassador Mbulelo Rakwena on the diplomatic spat between the U.S. and South Africa over the alleged sale of arms to Russia. Now, in other news, the ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa will today engage with structures of the party's biggest region, Netewini. The party's National Working Committee is engaging with all 11 regions of the organization across the province. As ABC News reporter Samgele Masego and video journalist Kwasi Manzi are covering the story. They join us now. Samgele, a very good afternoon to you. Quite an interesting meeting happening there, the heavyweights of the ANC meeting with the provincial leadership. Just give us a sense of what is really pressing at this point. We know that there have been various governance challenge, challenges and a scandal recently over the feeding scheme. Indeed, Tepi. So the main thrust of the bone of contention for the ANC in engaging with the structures of all 11 regions of KwaZulu-Natal is mainly premised around the issue of governance and service delivery. You look at the feeding scheme, the nutrition scheme that was bumbled by the provincial government, in particular the Department of Education, which prompted the Minister of Basic Education, Angie Mutsekha, and the National Executive Committee of the ANC to come to the fore to deliberate on this particular matter. You've got the President of the ANC see the National Working Committee across all 11 regions of the part. I want to bring in Mamlogo Kubai to just essentially speak on the essence of the NEC being here, the National Working Committee rather. Mekubai, the essence of the President being here, what is currently happening behind closed doors in this engagement with the ANC's biggest region, Eteguin? No, um, um, thank you, Sam Kerry. The issue here is that as NWC, we took a decision to visit all provinces. This is our second province. We've been to Limpopo. Um, now we are here in KwaZulu-Natal. The aim is to strengthen our structures. We are doing evaluation in terms of performance of our structures. Do we have structures that are in place properly? Do we have the organization functioning, checking on service delivery and engaging with our structures to hear feedback in how things need to be and how things are going? in the regions. You'd understand that one of the issues that as conference we were mandated to um, doing as the NEC is to also ensure that there are stronger structures across. Uh, we don't want to wait late. You find that there are no structures. By the time you want to go and battle in terms of the elections, you have no structures to be on the ground to battle elections for. So that's part of the issue. But also pay attention to the governance issues. So it's not only about internal matters of the NC, but also focuses on where there are problems, get feedback from our branches who are interacting with communities and they are leading within these communities to say what are the areas that we must pay attention to so that we can be able to respond to the mandate that citizens have been has given us. When you look at the issue of governance in this municipality you had Belinda Scott as the deputy mayor after you fired uh, Zandile Kumete as the mayor of this municipality saying that you are trying to turn around the situation here. When you look at the issues of service delivery, in particular in Eteguine municipality, it's still deplorable. Just a few weeks ago, you were in one of the informal settlements in Ispingo, which those informal dwell, uh, uh, dwellings had burnt down in, in, through, 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 through a fire. How are you going about in addressing the leadership deficiencies and maladministration in this specific municipality? Look, the issue around the performance and functioning of the municipality as in Eteguine. I don't think it's it's completely off, I can say that. Um, you do have Troika now. Yes, we know the coalition government um, have now proven that they are a bit unstable, not only here, even in other provinces where you have Johannesburg, you've got uh, Ekuruleni, you do see those instability in terms of coalition government. Government, You'd know that here we were in coalition with ABC now in terms of even for human settlement, you had Mavundla, he's left. So those things, because of the challenges of coalition, we are growing to learn how they function as, as a country, is something that we do not know as a territory. It's better when you have a municipality that has been 100% won by you. You have control, you can also hold accountable. Here it's about a balance where you've got to do trade-offs to make sure that the municipality functions effectively. We've been here, yes, as we say, I've been here uh, to deal with the Dakota fires. We're able to respond together, working together with the municipality. We're able to respond within a short space of time to be able to get the lives as we committed back on track. But the issue of informal settlements within Eteguine remains a concern for me as Minister of Human Settlements. 
grants to be able to deal with them and be able to respond. That's why in terms of monitoring of our grants, we continue to be able to look into that. So part of the conversation today as well, will be able to say, do we have the right people and with the right skills within Etewini? We look at the report that the Secretary of the region is presenting to say, how is the municipal? So we don't look only, as I said, with the structures. We look at, is the municipality having the technical capacity to be able to assist us to respond, which currently that's one of the things, the reports that will be presented to us as NWC, together with the president here. And then out of that, the NWC will meet tomorrow with the PEC to do a reflection on what we have been able to find. And if there are interventions that we need to do, we'll do those interventions later. Does those interventions mean changing the tracker of this specific municipality at a particular stage, knowing that you've just brought in the former director general in the pres presidency, Kesha Lubisi, brought in Mike Sutcliffe, who's a former city manager of uh, this city, which performed optimally during his tenure as the city manager? The issue of the bringing of the intervention is more on a technical level to be able to ensure that those projects that need to be delivered are delivered. Where there are challenges, you always be able to, to um, intervene. I think we support this, especially even from human settlement. You understand last time I spoke about uh, Nelson Mandela Bay, where we had challenges of delivery. We sent an intervention team there, though we didn't do it through the section um, that um, Minister uh, MEC has done in the province, but we have been doing interventions in municipalities where they are not functioning and it's from a technical point of view, not in terms of political leadership or executive leadership. So the current intervention is not to replace the Troika, it's the technical team that is going to support to ensure that we have service delivery happening because there's the feedback that we need to improve in terms of the service delivery. What is the essence, as I ask you the last question, of what you are getting inside the venue? Are there rumblings of divisions and tensions amongst those who are leading this particular region and particularly this province? No, actually, um, the spirit inside the meeting is quite um, unified. You'd have had people singing in one unison. You don't have different songs uh, that you'd hear. Um, and from where I'm sitting, I don't see any divisions that are visible in the meeting. We see a region that everybody is here to listen to what we have to say and also give us feedback. So I don't have that sense of, of divisions where I'm sitting from outside and what is happening inside. Will you be disbanding this province come the NWC recommendation on Monday for your ordinary NWC meeting? I think the Secretary General spoke to this matter. We don't visit provinces to disband. We visit to go and strengthen and ensure that this functioning of the organization. But the Secretary General can speak better on that matter. But is this province strong? I think the Secretary General will give a report after we've done an assessment. I'm not a deployee in KwaZulu Natal. I came here as an NWC to focus on Etewini, so I can't give it. It will not be an objective assessment when I talk about the province when there are 11 uh, regions and I'm just here not even two hours into the meeting so it will be really not objective at all. Will the president be addressing yes. th this meeting or will he also be addressing the various deployees and councils such as councillors? The president will address once the report is there will take questions from structures the president will address and respond to some of the issues that the structures are raising then in the afternoon we'll have a meeting with all deployees that are deployed in Etewin. Thank you very much Mamloko Kubai who is an ANC's National Working Committee member speaking on the essence of their visit saying that they're not only going to be meeting the branches and the alliance of the ANC, which is the meeting currently taking place, but they will also later in the afternoon be meeting with all of their deployees in government, which are the councillors of this specific struggling metro municipality led by the ANC-led coalition voting with the economic freedom fighters. Yeah, no, thank you very much for that update. And of course, sir, we'll uh, come back to you at a later stage here on the channel for more on that meeting of uh, the top leadership of the ANC and the provincial leadership of the ANC in KwaZulu-Natal.